Hello everyone, my name is Ainava Majumdar. I'm extension professor in the Department of Entomology and Plant Pathology at Auburn University and also the state SARE coordinator. Today I'm going to be talking about insect pest exclusion system, especially the temporary pest exclusion system. Many caterpillar species are common on fruits and vegetables across Alabama. Here are some common uh, caterpillars that you will see on variety of crops, especially feeding in multiple generations, overlapping generations resulting in heavy crop loss. These caterpillars come from moths and oftentimes we overlook that these moths can also be the target of uh, IPM system, especially like the pest exclusion system that targets to stop these moths. Also, there are many sting bug species and leaf fruit bugs that are very common and they will cause qualitative loss on the fruits. And these are also the targets of pest exclusion system. Essentially, there are three levels of IPM or integrated pest management. Level one, systems-based practices. Level two, which includes the pest exclusion practices and the temporary pest exclusion system we're going to uh, look into today. And also level three, which is use of insecticides as needed. Here's the basics of a temporary exclusion system. The main principle is to stop the moths or insects from getting to the host plants. The temporary system is a short-term solution, and the goal is to prevent infestation of insects. They're fairly easy to use and minimal trailing is needed for this kind of exclusion system uh, to be implemented on small farms or market gardens. There are many examples of fabric that can be used. These are uh, polyethylene fabric, for example, super light insect barrier, Agrofabric Pro 19, Covertan Pro 19, and ProtectNet. Some of these materials are long lived and can be reused, some may not. Here's uh, some ways of how to use the fabric. This, in this method, the PVC um, or plastic frame was used and put directly in the ground, and then the fabric is stretched over the plants. Ideally, the best way to do pest exclusion is to install the netting immediately after transplanting or immediately after seed germination happens. And this also promotes uh, good growth of the plants due to the additional heat that is trapped under the, um, under the fabric. So here you are looking at the two fabric like the Agrofabric Pro 19 and ProtectNet uh, protecting the tomatoes. Another way to install the netting would be to put the net or the fabric over movable frames. And this can be done very effectively on um, raised beds in community gardens. And some farmers and some gardeners even have these on hinges. So you can move the frame or lift the frame up for reaching to the plants. The goal is to essentially cover the plants immediately after transplanting and you need a very good seal of the uh, fabric so it doesn't move with the wind and it keeps the insects out. So here, uh, this video shows installation of super light insect barrier, which is one of the low cost fabric and use of sandbags to keep the fabric down over multiple rows of tomatoes. Here's some examples of uh, farmers who have used and tried this method with great success. For example, eggplants can be grown inside these uh, low tunnels with the super light insect barrier, or in this case, the coverton barrier. And uh, eggplants are then protected from flea beetles and aphids. Producers can also grow brassica crops or cool season crops under this fabric and using uh, uh, low hoops. Ideally, the plants should not touch the fabric so that insects don't feed through the fabric. So a little higher frame would be great to give you a, a, a longer term protection. You can also combine the exclusion fabric with the use of beneficial insects like the convergent lady beetle and lace wings. You can release them inside to control any escapes, such as aphids that, that may have come through infested transplants. And uh, the biological uh, beneficial inserts are very effective in controlling 
those pests in low numbers. As a reminder, don't forget to scout your crops. Remember that pest prevention is better than cure, especially in organic systems. Manage insect pests when they're small or low in numbers. Protect the natural enemies and integrate variety of ways or insect control methods as we have discussed here. For more information, please download and install the Farming Basics phone app, which is a great resource for identifying insects, diseases, has information on crops and calculators. It also links to our social media page and directly connects you to the regional extension agent based on your location.